What is going on, everyone? Welcome to the Pokey Office. My name is Colin. If I asked you to fill in the blank to this statement, what would you say? Surging Sparks is blank. There's so many different things you could say about it. Some good, some bad. Some would be like, Surging Sparks is the newest Pokemon set. Pretty straightforward. Surging Sparks is really fun to open. Surging Sparks is getting harder and harder to find out in the wild, and it's only been out for a day. Surging Sparks is getting expensive. Like, there's some bad stuff, too. Surging Sparks isn't the greatest quality control set. I've... Lots of different things. So let's talk about a few of them. Number one, I want to talk about the good stuff. Surging Sparks is, like, such a fun set to open. I had the pleasure on Thursday night of opening up over 700 packs of Surging Sparks on the live stream here at the Pokey office, and it was a doozy. We were going at it hard for, like, over six hours, I was exhausted the next day going to work, <laughs> but it was a lot of fun. We got to open some special illustration rares, got to open lots of illustration rares. The illustration rares are really, really awesome in the set. Um, the special illustration rares are really, really awesome in the set. It's just an overall really fun set, and I don't think that it's just because it's the new set. I actually do think the hype is quite real for Surging Sparks because it's a big set. There's lots of cards to chase, and there's lots of really fun cards to chase. So there was lots I liked about it. And of course, for me, I love chasing the value of those cards. So like Pikachu being a huge value card right now, that's a fun thing to chase. But there's the High Dragon that's actually a really, really cool looking card. I didn't pull that one yet. The Lycia's Appeal is a really cool trainer card that lots of people seem to like. And we pulled two of those on Thursday night. Uh, what else? The Executor. Not my favorite card in the world, but a really cool card. I like that. Uh, and then the Latias and the Latios pair. Uh, those are really, really cool, and I got to pull both of those. So always really, really exciting to get into a new Pokemon set, and especially with one like Surging Sparks where it has so much hype leading up to it. It was a lot of fun, and personally, it did not disappoint. Like I was hyped about it. And the hype was real. Surging Sparks is, I think, a really good set. On the flip side, if you're looking at like buying these singles and buying more stuff, Surging Sparks is getting really expensive. Like that's the next fill in the blank. Surging Sparks is really expensive. Take a look at TCG Player. Okay, check this out. Pikachu 393 on Saturday morning, which is absolutely insane. The Ladia Special Illustration Rare 189. High Dragon, 97, so still a very, very nice card. The Melotic, we also didn't pull that on Thursday night, so that's a good-looking card, along with the Feebas, which actually is also a really, really cool-looking card. Like, there's a lot of really cool artwork in the card. Pokemon continues to absolutely dominate the artwork space in uh, 2024 in Scarlet and Violet era. I absolutely love it. We did pull the Gold Pikachu. Nice. The Executor. Never pulled the Jasmine's Gaze. I didn't say the Lysia's Appeal, but we did pull it twice. Latios, we pulled that one a couple times. Uh, we pulled the Archaludon, which was not my favorite Pokemon. The thing I don't like about this one, honestly, is that the background almost just looks like a regular Ultra Rare card rather than a Special Illustration Rare card. That's what I don't like about it, but it, it is pretty cool. We pulled the Pikachu Rainbow card a few times, so some really, really cool cards, but the prices are just outrageous, like, especially this Pikachu and the Latias. Those are the ones that are like, dang, are those going to stay? But if these pull rates are tough, which is our next fill in the blank, Surging Sparks has tough pull rates. Uh, like, it does. I, oh, out of uh, 750 packs opened, what did we pull? Seven? Seven special illustration rares? So it's like kind of one in 100 packs. One special illustration rare per 100 packs is ish. That's, I don't know what the exact pull rates are. I think Danny Phantom took like 2,100 packs to complete his master set. So that is a big master set. It's a big master set. It's going to be an expensive master set, especially if the Pikachu chase card is going to continue to be the most expensive card in Scarlet and Violet era, which it very well could. If pull rates continue to be this tough, if the Pikachu continues to be this tough, and if you look at the TCG player homepage, like the headline, big headline says, Pikachu is harder to pull than Greninja. It's by like four packs or something, but uh, it's tough. It's tough. We did pull it. 
It was during the pack battle on Thursday night, and it was one of the most exciting pack battles of all time. Phantom came up. He was the last in line for the pack battle. He needed to beat the Latios illustration rare in terms of value. And I don't know what pack it was, but it was near the end, and Pikachu came out. It was very, very exciting. Um, absolutely crazy. What else is there to say about Surging Sparks? Like Next up in my head, Surging Sparks is hard to get. It's in high demand, and it's hard to get. Sounds like you're chasing after a like, uh, prospect for a girlfriend or something like that. But <clears throat> seriously, stores are selling out of this stuff. I sold 700-something packs of Surging Sparks on Thursday night. It's the biggest live stream I've ever had. We were going hard for six-plus hours. I tried to go buy more yesterday, Friday. And the guys who I usually buy from, no, we ha actually have none. They're sold out. The distributor sold out. Facebook groups, man, people are charging huge money for this set already. Local stores, they don't have any. Like, this set is in such high demand, which is such a change from what Pokemon has been over the last two, three years. I mean, it's hard to fathom what's going on. People, is it that they didn't print enough or is it that people just are eating this set up so much? Me and Rob talked about it last night on the channel and he brought a spicy take up where he thinks that Pokemon potentially, this is just speculation, is trying to go away from booster boxes and more into like booster bundles and other products. I'd recommend you go watch his take because it was pretty interesting. It was a live stream on Friday night. Um, but I thought that was interesting. Are, are Pokemon not wanting to print booster boxes? That, that's got me really thinking. But there is such a lack of supply for Surging Sparks, and it's literally a day old. Here's the thing. Not just lack of supply, but more than enough demand for it. I feel like I could do another live stream tonight, and if I had enough product for it, I could sell it again. I could be live for another six hours again, and I feel like people would buy. It doesn't really matter the price point, which I don't even know what the descriptor word for that is. Surging Sparks is in high demand, I guess. Like People want to open more of this set. People want to chase that Pikachu. People want to get the Latios and Latios combo. It's crazy. This set is doing things to Pokemon like no set has done before. And it's just getting started. This is the whole thing that I've been spouting nonsense off for the last three months. It's just getting started. Stellar Crown was just the glimmer of light at the start of the tunnel. That didn't make any sense. Oh, you know, yeah, it does. Because you see the little glimmer of light at the start. Then, like, we're in the middle of the tunnel right now with Surging Sparks. And when Prismatic Evolution comes out, oof, watch out, boy. Watch out, because... Things are going to continue to go crazy. I've been saying it already. Uh, Pre-orders at distributors for Prismatic Evolution are through the roof. And they're emailing people being like, hey, it's already way oversold. If you, uh, it, you're going to be allocated. If you've bought lots, you'll get some. If you haven't bought lots, you're not going to get very much because we're going to allocate it based on your spending. So Brian at Pokey was on our live stream last night and he's like, yeah, I'm just like buying everything. And he said, he said one line, I can't remember exactly how he said it, but you got to be willing to spend the money during the crap times in order to get Pokemon product during the good times. And this for Pokemon sellers is an amazing time for years already. People and consumers have been able to buy booster boxes of Pokemon for literally wholesale price. Like, yeah, they charge you tax, and yeah, they up upcharge it by like 10, maybe 15%. But you're basically paying wholesale pricing. Not anymore, you're not. Surging Sparks? No, you're paying like MSRP. Prismatic Evolutions? You think you're going to get the Elite Trainer Box there for wholesale? No. No, 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 no. Not a chance. You're going to pay big money for it. And Team Rocket? No. Not a chance. Not a chance. And I've been seeing people talk about how it's so greedy for store owners to up the price. 
it's it's not good business. Anyone who thinks that is doesn't know what they're talking about. I'm going to be honest. That might slap you in the face a little bit, but businesses have literally been just holding on because they have bills to pay. They have staff to pay. They have warehouse rent to pay. They have electricity bills to pay and they have to eat. And when you're having to churn and burn through 400, 500, 1,000 booster boxes every month just to pay the bills because your markup is so razor thin, that's not good business. They've been holding on. Now, finally, finally, this stuff is moving in a direction where they can mark it up a little bit more and consumers are going to pay a bigger uh, margin on it. And that's good for your stores. Don't you like going to the stores? Don't you like that you can rely on Brian at Pokey NE or other online stores, Danny Phantom store, where they still give you a decent price? You know you're going to get the product in good condition. You know that it's going to be packaged well. And you know that you're going to get it on time. Isn't Doesn't that mean something? Don't you want stores like that? Of course you do. Of course you do. Or local game stores who actually have a bricks and mortar facility to run and staff to house don't you like going to games nights there and don't you like being able to go support local yeah of course you do of course so now they can finally make a little bit of extra money and start or stop eating rice and beans seriously that take really bugs me it's not greedy it's good business they've been waiting for this moment so that they can finally start actually making some profit rather than just holding on that was a big side rant because we're supposed to be talking about Surging Sparks. But it is all related to Surging Sparks. Surging Sparks is where this is starting. Surging Sparks is creating better margins for Pokemon stores, which is a really, really good thing. If I need to remind anyone, MSRP for Scarlet and Violet booster boxes is 210 Canadian dollars. So it's like 163 American. 161 or 163 i can't remember the exact but it went up by 20 dollars from sword and shield like these booster boxes are not you're not supposed to be able to buy them for 100 usd you're supposed to pay 160 we've just been absolutely lucked out as consumers to be able to buy them for 100 dollars. but it's not going to happen any longer what else have we not talked about i think that's kind of all my thoughts on the matter surging sparks what did we talk about it's a lot of fun the quality control, not very good. I don't know if I talked about that or not, but it's not very good. I don't think any of the cards I pulled on Thursday night are, or there's one, the Latios card um, I'm going to send into PSA. The Latios card, not the Latios. I get those confused all the time. But the Pikachu, little off center. The Lysia's Appeals, little off center. Everything. The quality control, not good. There was nicks in lots of the top edges. There was centering issues. There was white spots on the back of cards. Like everything quality control issues, Surging Sparks has it. Meaning that PSA 10s of some of these cards might be ridiculously in high demand. They might carry a huge premium. If, if the quality control is really bad and you do manage to find something good... I would definitely say it's probably worth sending to PSA because I think it's going to be hard for this set based on what I've seen uh, so far from my own experience and from a few of the videos I've watched on the tube. Other than that, hard to get. I mean, I can't buy any more of it. I legitimately can't. I mean, yes, I can, of course, but to make any type of profit or to have any of it for a good price, I can't. Crazy crazy let me know what you think hopefully you enjoyed the rant um and i haven't even opened any surging sparks for myself so it's time for 10 packs here we go all right here we are surging sparks this is the first pack i've opened for myself though i've opened lots of it so uh, i've seen most of the cards it is a very very fun set and kind of just hoping that we get something absolutely delicious here for myself like the sylveon this is a funny one why is there just a random Sylveon in the set? It doesn't make any sense. Like, Prismatic is coming, and yet there's just a Sylveon. I'm totally here for it, by the way. But it's like that's the only one out of the bunch. It's, it's a little funny. But it's a good start, good start. We got our first hit. I'll take it. 
Come on. Nothing there. Nothing there. But yeah, if you uh, have liked the content, make sure to subscribe to the channel. Hit the like button. Leave a comment. Appreciate you all for watching. And it's just, I don't know, felt like a rant type of day. So hopefully you enjoyed it. It wasn't scripted. <laughs> Most of my videos aren't. <laughs> just start going off, going off, but lots of fun. It's always a good time to have a new set around. Um, yeah, always a good time. Love when a new Pokemon set comes out. We got an illustration rare here. Cast form. Okay. This is a beautiful card. I don't think it's worth that much, but it is a beautiful, beautiful card. The colors absolutely pop on it and I'm here for it I'm here for it but we want the special illustration rare these are all sleeve packs as you can see um, both the Latius special illustration rare and the Pikachu came out of sleeve packs for my stuff the executors the Archaludon, Delicia's Appeal all came out of booster boxes and then Forrest actually just showed on the Discord that in one of the booster boxes he bought for me, he just pulled the High Dragon, so also pretty cool um, we had the debate the other day, I personally still like booster boxes a lot better but some people like Sleeved, I get it I get it and based on the experience of Surging Sparks, Sleeved outperformed um, outperformed the booster boxes, obviously, because it had the Pikachu, so... I don't know. Pikachu? Come on, baby. It's a nice pull. The Pikachu actually looks really good in this set. Actually looks really, really solid. I do also enjoy the... Um, Rainbow Pikachu, the gold Pikachu, they all look really quite nice. Not too shabby at all. Shocker, I already saw the back card because I don't know how to pull the energy card. But it's Jasmine's Gaze. Not too bad. Got the shaky coffee hands needing more caffeine. <laughs> uh -huh. Come on. Two packs left. Not too bad so far. I wouldn't mind one more, one more illustration rare would be nice. Be nice. The slack off illustration rare is actually deadly. The artwork is so unique. It's really, really a weird card. Um, I, I do kind of like it. And the joke was that the artist was slacking off. <laughs> uh, so bad, so bad. Come on, last pack. And an ace spec is making an appearance. Scramble switch and an SIR. Oh my goodness. Come on. And an SIR. Come on, baby. This is what a last pack magic is supposed to be all about. Melotic. Yes, sir. That is what I'm talking about. Boomtastic. Last pack magic. Oh my goodness. It's looking pretty nice as well. Did not pull that one on Thursday night. So that is my first SIR of the bunch. Dang skis. Last pack magic. That is what I'm talking about. Come on. That is the fourth uh, most valuable card in the set right now. The Melotic. Let's take a closer look at that one. Dang. I mean, again, I think it's a little off center left to right. Left side is a little thicker. But that is an absolutely beautiful card. Absolutely beautiful. And that turned out to be a really good pack opening. Hot diggity dog. That's going to do it for me at the Pokey Office. Hopefully you enjoyed the video. Let me know down in the comments below what you think about Surging Sparks. Fill in those blanks. Surging Sparks is. And I'll see you on the next video. Peace!